I'm Leslie Montgomery from Green Building Alliance, Western Pennsylvania's chapter of the U.S. Green Building Council. Green buildings are a leading segment in the real estate market, and we're finding that green leases are in high demand as a tool for building owners and tenants to keep their spaces as green and healthy as possible. Let's take a look at the three most common types of commercial real estate leases so we know what we're working with. In a gross lease, everything is included. The landlord collects fixed rents and uses them to pay for expenses like taxes, insurance, and maintenance. Gross leases are most often used in office buildings. In a triple net lease, fixed rents are lower, but tenants are responsible for sharing insurance, taxes, and common area maintenance costs with landlords. Because tenants have no control over expense increases, triple net leases are popular with landlords but not with tenants. However, if a tenant is locating in a newer building, or perhaps a higher performing, more durable building, triple net leases may be a preferable choice because rent and expenses may be lower for the first few years. The modified net lease is a compromise between the gross lease and the triple net lease. The landlord and tenant usually share operations and maintenance expenses, and the tenant pays taxes and insurance. Utility payments are also negotiated. Modified net leases are common in older buildings. Let's take a look at how you can green your lease. Usually, a green lease takes the form of a two to three page addendum on your regular lease. Green leases are important from a property owner perspective because increasingly, potential tenants are concerned about the financial operation of their new spaces, as well as the occupant health factors which can impact productivity of their workforce. Green leases are important from a tenant perspective because signing your lease with your new landlord is the one moment you have to negotiate important factors about the way your new space will function for the lifespan of your lease. Leeds credit categories provide great considerations for the impact of your building or space. So now let's take a look at the leasing process through the lens of the LEED rating system. We'll look at the categories of LEED and explain how building owners and tenants can incorporate each category's intent into their lease. 